Hey guys, before we get into the transformation video, I want to thank you all for 5,000 subscribers and all of you who checked my fiber services. Means the world to me. This video will be split into three parts. The transformation montage. Can the gym raise your rating and attractiveness? My one year gym journey and experiences with gym maxing. If you want to get your face professionally rated by me and get personalized look maxing advice, to increase attractiveness, link will be in the description. Anyways, don't let me waste any more of your time. Let's get this started. Can the gym increase your attractiveness? Now this will be the hardest question to answer on how the gym and working out can affect someone's attractiveness. A rough estimate would be that more than 95% of the male population would benefit from hitting the gym. But the benefit itself can drastically differ from person to person, because many variables will be at play here, the body fat levels in your face, and most importantly, your height. Now let's discuss the body fat levels in the face. If you are overweight to the point that your face is round, then that automatically puts you below a 5 out of 10 in 99% of the cases, because all that body fat hides crucial features of your face, and those are the jaw outlines from the sides completely disappear. It looks like your neck directly connects to your face, with no jaw separation in between. The skin in your hyoid area becomes loose, 
the lint of Uramus becomes invisible, and so does the body of the mandible. Looking at an overweight person's face from the front, we can see that the jaw has no angularity, you lose definition in your cheekbones, your eyes become slightly closer set, and you even gain some fat on the nose. And don't get me started on how no piece of clothing will look good on you from casual wear to classy suits. I think you guys get what I'm getting at. I know it ain't nice, but I'm saying this from a good heart and I genuinely want people to improve. Because being overweight is no way to live. So how much points can you realistically gain from dropping to 15% body fat or lower and adding muscle mass to your frame? Well, depends on what you have hidden under that fat. There was a client on Fiverr. He sent me his pictures for me to rate him and give him advice. He have a solid mid face, solid eyes, and a projected chin. He still managed to score a 5 even though he was overweight. Told him that if he drops to around 14% body fat, he will be at least, at least a 7 out of 10. Of course, these images are just to give an example. I can't show the faces of my clients. It's a privacy thing. So there are some people who will jump from a 4 out of 10 to an 8 out of 10. Some will jump to a 7 or 6 or even a 5. It depends on the rest of the face, but improvement is still improvement. And also muscle mass are a male sexual dimorphic trait that many women will be attracted to. And another point I want to discuss, it's about height and adding muscle mass. Does it increase your attractiveness or not? Well, I know this is controversial, but if you are below average in height and short, I don't think the gym will increase your attractiveness much. Let's say that in your country, the average male height is 170 centimeters. If you are below the average, let's say 165 centimeters, in my opinion, I don't think the gym will have that much impact on your rating. But it will save you from the sub 4 out of 10 purgatory. I also believe the taller you are, the more you benefit from adding muscle mass. It's like a snowball effect of attractiveness. So in conclusion, I would say it's a mixture of what's hidden under the fat on your face and your height and the women's personal preferences. It's what determines the final results. I would still recommend the gym to anyone despite looks and height because there are other crucial benefits. It helps a lot with your mental health, especially depression. It helps mix your mood better, increases your energy levels, and most importantly, make you age gracefully and prevent illnesses. My one year gym journey and gym maxing experience. Now I'm gonna discuss my gym journey, how I trained, what I ate, what supplements I took, did I take any steroids. Well, as you can see from the average results I got in a year, that I'm 100% natural. Any guy who is familiar with working out can tell that. I started the gym back in the 1st of March 2021. I was 21 years old for the first month. I used to go four times a week. My goal for the first month was to get my body used to the routine of working out and trying to perfect my exercises. And then from the second month until December 2021, I used to train five times a week and from December to now I only train four times a week again. And I trained the muscles I wanted to see progress in two times a week. This includes chest, back and arms. Then I would train my shoulders and leg once a week because I had a shoulder injury. There are some muscles I completely neglected because I am an idiot like my forearms and neck. When it comes to supplements, I took none, because they were very expensive for me in my first year in training. And the same goes for a high caloric diet with lots of protein. I wasn't able to afford that back then. This is why I stayed relatively lean throughout the journey. I wish I was able to do a clean bulk, but that doesn't matter now since I'm going to invest in some good quality supplements and do a clean bulk this time. So yeah, I achieved this just by eating three times a day, no chicken calories, no nothing. Sometimes I even eat two meals a day, which I don't recommend by the way, but the circumstances did not allow me to eat more. When it comes to strength progress, I jumped from 26 pounds dumbbell chest press to 80 pounds chest press for 8 reps. From 80 pounds squats to 225 pounds squat for 3 reps. From 70 pounds in the latch pull down machine to 175 pounds for 8 reps. And the bench press from 80 pounds to 202 pounds for 1 rep max. And my pull-ups count went from 0 to 12, and the dips went from 0 to 15. I am pretty satisfied with the results when it comes to strength. I'm going to try and top that in my second year of lifting. My weight at the start of the journey went from 66 kilos to 73.5 kilograms, at a height of around 185 centimeters. I dropped to 69 kilos in the months of Ramadan because I had to dry fast for 30 days. And I trained as hard as I could during regular days, so I managed to keep my strength even though the drop in weight was sharp. My physique allowed clothes to fit me better and for my V-shape to show through them, and I always get complimented on it. 
When I share my gym progression pics on Instagram stories, I do get girls hitting me up on the DMs. So I guess gym maxing has been a success for me. And I'm going to continue working out because I made a habit out of it and I want to see the maximum of my genetics potential. Hope this video gave you guys motivation to start your own gym journey as well. Hope you enjoyed it. If you guys like my content, a like and subscribe will be highly appreciated. And like usual, catch you guys in the next one.